Hello my lovely people, it is Thursday with Ashley on Teenagers in Training. Are you excited? It's the first week of Teenagers in Training and don't worry, this is just the beginning. There's so much more to come, and then we're going to go so far with this. So be excited. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. So for our first week, we decided to do the topic of first day of high school. For us in the U.S., that is the ninth grade. For the little freshmen, we are the little fishes in the deep, deep ocean of dramatic attention whores, dumb jocks, and smart, normal people, if you're lucky enough to have those in your school. I'm not that fortunate. For my first day of ninth grade, I don't actually remember that much of it because now I am a junior and it's my second week of being a junior. That was two years ago for me and I don't remember much of it. I was in a completely different school. I was living in a completely different house. If you think about it, I have come so far in the last two years. Two years ago, I was living in a ranch-style house on this big hill with a ton of backyard with nothing in it with my mom and her boyfriend. Well, that summer they broke up. So we moved to a townhouse, which I had lived in a townhouse since I was so young, and then my mom got remarried last December, and now I live in this beautiful house. So, ninth grade year was a big change for me. I left all of my friends that I knew for eight, eight years, and I had to make all new best friends. And a lot of drama went down, and I'm not going to get into that, because this is about the first day before I knew any of this was happening. So, the first day... I have no idea what I wore. I'm pretty sure I wore jeans. Because I think I wore jeans. I'm not positive, though. I remember I rode the bus because I never ride the bus, but my mom made me ride the bus the first day so that I could make sure I knew how to ride the bus just in case I had to ride the bus. But normally, I ride in the car with her. Not anymore. But back then, that was normal. Ride, ride to school with her and then take the bus home. My bus ended up being very late that day. So, I, all my friends were waiting for me in the lobby, ready to go to our Spanish class, because that's, we all had the same class together. And I was late. So they all were like, the bell's about to ring, we have to get to class. So I walked into school alone which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be with my friends, and we could all walk to class together, and I would look like I was in place. But no, I ended up walking to class by myself, which is like, oh my god, first world problems. So what I had to do, <sighs> life is so difficult. Seriously, I can't even handle it here anymore. It's so difficult. My classes were pretty good. I had, um, I had gym. Which is so weird to think of having gym because I haven't had gym in, since ninth grade. But I had gym, which is not a fun thing to have, and I had it in the morning, so it's gross and bleh. But um, I made a lot of friends in gym, which is why it's kind of better sweet. Then at lunch, I was looking for my best friend Jessica at the time, and I couldn't find her. But it turned out she was actually outside in the like outside eating area. So I walked around and did laps of the cafeteria like so many times. But then I was like, my friend Kip had been trying to tell me to sit with him the whole time. But I was looking for Jessica. So I was like, no, I gotta look for Jessica. So I finally was like, okay, I'll sit with you. I can't find her. So I sat with him. He was like, you look like the biggest freak freaking walking around the cafeteria, and I was like, great, whatever. I ended up sitting with him for a majority of the rest of the year until things happened, and, you know, life. Ninth grade was not that big of a deal for me, 
but if you want to ask me about 10th grade, that's a different story. 10th grade was the hardest couple months of my life. The first couple months were so hard, and then I finally made friends. So that's when I switched schools. So if you want to ask me about 10th grade, go ahead, because that's where it's interesting. So, that is my 9th grade story. It is not much. I would probably have way more to tell if I could actually remember it, but I can't. Thank you for watching Thursdays with the amazing Ashley, and make sure you tune in for tomorrow, and then... Come back next week. Why wouldn't you want to come back next week? It's teenagers in training. So hope to see you next Thursday. And let me know in the comments below what you think. And like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. And the link will be in a thunder down under. Thank you. Love you. Bye.